to show you how to create an orthogonal drawing with an isometric view in Adobe Illustrator using your file that you've created in SketchUp for Schools. So once you've finished your product design, you need to really make sure that it is totally done. Rotate all the way around, checking everything and making sure it is as good as it can be. The next thing you need to do is make sure that there's nothing in the art space SketchUp space that's going to interfere with your orthogonal drawing. So if you click on the Orbit tool and go down to the bottom icon, which is Zoom Extends, it pulls everything in that SketchUp space into the center. You can then delete off anything that you don't need because they will actually show in your orthogonal drawing. We then now need to make the background white. So the sixth icon down on the right hand side, click on that one. And it's the styles. I like to do orthogonal drawing with color. You can actually choose a line style if you'd like to. So the one that I use for orthogonal drawing is the fifth one across under default styles. It's that one there. Which is, it's got color, it's got texture and it has a white background. The next thing that I want you to do is go to the eyeglass icon and turn off section cuts axes and guides then click on the movie icon and make sure that the bottom uh, cube is selected which is parallel rather than um, perspective so we want to be in parallel and I'll just zoom that back in we can then just zoom out so that you can see all of your product in the center we then go to the triple bar icon on the left hand side Go down to export PNG. Just make sure that your object is right in the middle rather than being cut off to the side. The first thing that you should choose is probably your isometric view. Choose the one that is showing your product in its best light. Make sure it's on transparent background and go export as PNG. That will go into your downloads folder which you can then place into Illustrator. While you're there, I would actually take the time now to export your front view, top view and right hand view. It's exactly the same process. Triple bar, export, PNG, front view, transparent background, export as PNG. They're big files, so they do take a little bit of time. Export PNG, top view, transparent background, export as PNG. In a school situation, I don't ask my students to create any more than three views unless absolutely imperative in their orthogonal drawings. I just don't think it's necessary. Export PNG and the last view is the right hand view, transparent background, export as PNG. Now you can open Illustrator. Now in at John Paul College in visual communication design, we actually have some templates that students can use for final presentations, but it, this is just a part of your folio and you're just creating um, an orthogonal drawing as part of the design process, just open up a clear A3 Adobe Illustrator page. So this is our template. It's got some of the Australian standards and conventions already placed on it so that our students actually learn where they actually go. File, place. Your file should be in the downloads folder and they'll be numbered. Select the last four. Now they actually come in with the SketchUp for Schools logo on it, which is a little bit annoying. So what you're going to have to do is crop all of those using the crop function in Illustrator. To get that, you actually have to make sure that you're on Essentials Classic. Essentials doesn't have the crop function. 
click return or enter. Just crop them all first. So across the top, crop image. And crop in so that they are click return. And crop your isometric view. You can then scale these to the size that you need. Unfortunately, because this isn't the full version of SketchUp, we can't work out the exact scale unless we um, measure and work it out ourselves, which if you are in year 10 and above, I'll suggest that you do. In year nine, all you need to do is make sure that all of the views in your orthogonal drawing are the same scale. I would suggest that you select them all at once and scale them down to what is a reasonable size for your page and your layout and your product all together so they're all the same scale. Then we just place them into our orthogonal drawing. Now this isn't going to fit, so I'm going to have to scale them all down a little bit smaller. Place your front view in the bottom left hand corner, lining up with one of the grid lines because we want to make sure that everything is perfectly lined up. Place the top view above it, lining up with the grid line. Now we really need to make sure in an orthogonal drawing there is equal distance between views. That should be two centimeters or four centimeters. So zoom in. I've got the grid showing. So view, I've got show grid, which is um, under view somewhere. And each of these squares on my grid is five mil, which I like to leave that for as a standard in my Illustrator files. So I'm actually putting two centimeters or 20 mil between my views. So if I've done that here, I'm going to have to do it with my right hand view as well. Okay, nudge that up. At year nine level, you do not have to do dimensioning. So all you need to do is make sure that your uh, labels are directly below your views that they are in five mil high capital letters and that they're all the same distance away from each product if you are at year 10 level and above you need to do dimensioning so what you can do if you have the template from John Paul College already, you can actually cut and paste the dimension and projection lines that we already have done for you, which already have the arrowheads on them. Or you can use the line tool and actually create your own lines and add arrowheads in there. Some of the standards that you do need to look out for when you're doing dimensioning is that your closest, smallest dimensions are closest to your objects, your biggest dimensions are further away, and that dimensions are one centimetre away from your product and one centimetre away or 10 mil away from each other. We then, if you're at year 10 level and above, you need to work out your scale. I am going to say that this is scale one to two, which means one millimeter on this drawing equals two millimeters in real life. And I'm going to make this double the size and say that this is full size. So 
change this to one to one. Now with your dimensioning, if you have the words all measurements in millimetres, you don't need to write mm in here because it is up here. Any circles should be dimensioned with uh, the circumference, which there would be a little bit of work to do with this. And you can then go ahead and make your final presentation or orthogonal drawing look as you want it to look and save it. And that is the end of